go this morning. All those boys are gonna go go out fishing. The weather's great. The sea state is super calm, and um, our grandpa Wild, my dad's dad, has this great little fishing boat. Um, he checks the weather all the time, and if there's a good day that pops up, we all go out fishing. So today happens to be one of those days. We just got the word from our medical officials that we have like the 30 day stay in your house quarantine kind of thing. And so these guys gave a list of what we can and can't do. You can do exercise, but you can't do this and stuff like that. Now thankfully, fishing is one of the activities you can still do because you're out on a boat in the middle of the ocean and no one's near you. So that's check. So man, I'm really excited about that because we're planning on doing a lot of fishing this next 30 days. I'm just preparing our lunch. It's tradition to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when we go fishing. So I fixed four sandwiches. And yeah, that's all we need. A couple apples and we'll be good to go. We're warming up the car. The boys are taking forever. We're supposed to be on the road by now. Come on boys, we gotta go. Six, it's probably 6.50 by now. It gets light around 6.30, so we're supposed to be on the boat by 7.30. But if it's 6.30 right now, we're probably, if we start leaving right now, we'll get there at 7. Yeah. We have to load up the boat, so I guess we can still make it in time if we really, if we really hurry. We gotta go, though. You can see the fish, they stop biting at 12 o'clock. So it's like you have to really use those morning hours, because at noonday, they just stop biting. All right, let's go, boys, woo! Early mornings are not my fan. I go out, we'll get the bait fish. Since we saw yesterday, we saw the uh, cigar minnows finally have shown up. So we'll try to get. Not long, but try to get a few of those. Okay. And uh, then we're gonna go out about six miles. And we'll try, I call it the, the bull hole. A little dip, it's about 95 feet of water from the normal 75, 80 feet, so it's kind of a dip. Yeah. And I got about four spots out there, so we'll try that. I wanna see what they look like now. What kind of fish are there. Maybe get a couple triggers. Right now we're trying to find um, some bait fish, live bait fish, because those are the best bait when around the gulf. So we're using the dolphins and the birds as our radar, kind of, just using them. They're doing all the hard work, we're just trying to find where they're going. Anyways, unless we have some action over here, so. Oh, he's just coming to check us out. Wow. Yeah. Hey, buddy. No way, how's it going? Don't touch him? Don't touch him. Yeah. Hey, man. No way. Hey, buddy. Oh, How's it going, man? kind of came out of nowhere, and he was came right alongside of the boat. It was so cool, we are just kind of like tapping on him, and then he came up, he, you know, sensing the vibrations in the water. Anyways, and we were able to like almost, I mean, we didn't actually touch him, but we could have, he was just like right there next to us, so. He might have been looking for um, something to eat, you know, like sometimes a lot of the boats, I think, will just hand over some like bait fish and stuff to feed him, so maybe that's why he was checking us out, but. Anyways, cool little encounter there. Wow, it's a little bit cold this morning. We have a cold front kind of coming through. But anyways, we're going through this pass here underneath this bridge. On the other side is usually where large schools of bait fish uh, congregate. They're all swimming around. And uh, in the early mornings, right around this time, they start feeding. So we use something called gold hooks. It's a string of about five golden hooks, with each with like a little feather on the end. And you bob it down in the water, and man, these bait fish go after it, and we catch a ton. So I'm going to rig up a couple of these poles with gold hooks and as soon as we get through the bridge and uh, on the other side outside this pass we'll start fishing for bait fish. So these are what the, um, the gold hooks look like. They always get a little bit tangled when we try to put them back. So let me see if I can kind of untangle this. Basically you attach this to your fishing rod and have weight on the other side and all these little gold hooks in the middle. It's kind of funny, we're, we're used to seeing tons of tourists out on all these beaches that we're passing by right now, but because of the coronavirus, they've been shut down from public use, so they're deserted. 
outside if you don't want. All set to catch some uh, bay fish. Yeah, first fish of the day. We're in about 22 feet of water and all the bait fish are at the bottom. So you just wait until the sink goes down to the bottom and then just jig it up and down. Fish on. Alright. Alright, Hudson, now it's your turn. You know, you want to these are little bait fish that we're after. They're called cigar minnows. They're great bait fish. They have really strong, strong meat and sturdy bones, so they really stay on the hook. They don't come off easily uh, when you're fishing for something big. But grouper, king mackerel, I don't know, red snapper, trigger fish, just about everything loves these guys. Great for bait. When you're catching bait fish, it's kind of a three person job. First, we have the captain who finds the fish and makes sure as we stay over the spot. Then we have the fishermen who bring them up. Then we have the rag and bag man. And that's what I'm doing. Kind of grab the fish, make sure you take them off nice and quick, throw them in the live bait well. So this is great. We already have about um, probably 25 fish in there. We had some live ones from before, but so that's a really good amount. And yeah, I'm excited. We'll do this for a couple more minutes, and then we'll head out and go after some bigger fish. From the point, we're 280. I'm starting to see something right coming out there. Look at that. Fish are starting to come in. <laughs> Whoa. Size mingo. He's beautiful. Gorgeous. Listen. Good catch. Alright. This is great because there are a ton of red snapper out here and we love catching red snapper, but it's not red snapper season. This though is another kind of snapper. It's called a mingo snapper. And they are in season. And they have to be a, a minimal length of 10 inches. This guy's much bigger than 10 inches. He's actually a whopper for a mingo. So this is a good catch. He's definitely a keeper. Morgan has those pliers. This is what Florida fishing is all about. The red snapper is like the prize fish to take home. It's just nice white meat. They're really good fights, so they're fun to catch. But um, it's out of season right now, and this guy's too small. So back he goes to the depths. Why is that just. Ooh, me. Another red, red snapper. snapper. Oh, it's not that big. It's not that big. Oh, man. And here we have our bait. Right here we have some sardines, cigar minnows inside, inside this box. And then my personal favorite bait, frozen squid. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Bring him on up. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah, another red snapper. snapper. Oh, I mean, I Come on. That would've been a good number. Okay. You got flyers? We got good. Them. I'm not getting hard strikes. Usually, yeah. Oh, I'm seeing it coming up. It's, uh, yeah, it's a red snapper. Red oh. snapper. Snag him. Two little baby triggers, all right. Poor guy. Oh, yeah. Mm, it's not my bed. Oh, yeah, it's bending over. 
Ah, oh, red Another red snapper. snapper. Another red right. snapper. Man, a red size though. He is. Yeah, it's great to be out in the water today. The sea state's beautiful. Very calm. There's that pesky dolphin. So it turns out we're not the only ones out here fishing today. As we were fishing, we noticed a dolphin that surfaced and he's been circling our boat. And when we catch a prize fish like a red snapper, he goes after it when we release it. And so just a minute ago, we saw him, he came to the surface and he had a big old red snapper in his mouth. So he's really, he's benefiting from us being here. We're doing the work for him and we're tossing it's the fish. It's a symbiotic and relationship. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Say pair say. <laughs> Not really, though. I don't mind too much. And it's just a beautiful day to be on the water though. We're really yeah, enjoying ourselves. Yeah. So nice to be out of the house. Come on, Mingo. Yeah, but you stay in. Keep her... I, got, I got the net grab one. So that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, me. Uh, yeah, it's too small. It's too small, but uh... Good catch though. Yeah. Looks like Hudson has another fish. That's just a trigger. Uh, a small trigger. Oh. Another small trigger. We've had a great morning at fish room. And we're stopping to take a lunch break around 12. 12 to 1, things seem to slow down. The fish just stopped biting, and there's a bit of a lull, so we're taking advantage to have our lunch. I'm hungry. Thanks, Cub. You know, fishing is so much fun. There's something about it. It's such a joy to just be kind of floating down the water in the sunshine, having something to do. It's just great. And it's been a really good day so far. We've caught so many fish. Um, being out a little bit deeper, we're 11 miles out. But um, yeah, we need one more trigger fish, some more kind of smaller snappers, and then hopefully we can get a big fish, something like a cobia or a king mackerel or something like that. So it's a really well-rounded fishing trip. But um, yeah, we're moving spots right now, so we're taking advantage and grabbing something to eat. Getting kind of hungry. You know, being out in the sun makes you hungry. So I'm gonna grab a sandwich. Mingo snapper. No, that's not. No, that's a keep. That is a. Uh, oh, what are those called? Mangrove snapper. I mean, it's not just snapper. Mangrove. Yeah. Nice catch. That's a good one. And he is uh, yeah. 16. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The lane nice is eight trip. inches. See the way we're covered. That's All a mangrove. Right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Ah, fish on. All right. Who's got the net? Uh, he's kind of big. He's fighting weird though. Maybe you snagged him. No, I don't think so. Tom, sir, Tom. Oh, Where is he? Is that oh. Jack? Whoa! Asher. Nice catch. Nice amberjack. Oh, there he is. Pick smile for the camera. Alright, whoa. Careful with the look, Asher. So Grandpa, can we keep this guy? No. Ah. Oh. It's always hard to make the call to come back in, but the fish kind of stopped biting and it's getting later. So we're on our way back now. We're just kind of pulling into the bayou now. We have to go really slow because there's a no wake zone. But um, yeah, we're gonna clean the boat and fully the fish nets. So not quite finished yet. All right, here's our cooler full of fish. Right. Buddy, do you want some of those fish? We always usually line them up. It's kind of our tradition as when we come back with fish, we always line them up and take pictures and stuff and see what we got. Buddy. Do you want some of this fish? Mm -hmm. Don't fish for me or no? You can watch us now. It's the only white snapper that we caught right. today. So we got an assortment of snappers here. We got the mingo snapper, that's a white snapper, mangrove snapper, and then we, we caught a whole bunch of red snapper. We probably would have gone twice this amount of fish if we could have kept the red snappers, but they're out of season, so we had to throw those back. But we'll get them next time. They'll just keep growing, and by the time it's snapper season, we'll catch a whole bunch of them. But for now, this is a great load of fish that we just got. Yeah, there's something rewarding about bringing home your own fish and eating them later. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But um, now comes the kind of not fun part. So the boat has all this fish guts and stuff on it. So Ash and I are gonna go scrub that down. And then while we're doing that, Morgan Hudson are gonna fillet all these fish up, get them all ready, and then so we can throw them in the, the fridge. And um, yeah, that's the plan. 